Ladies and gentlemen, we have a serious problem. The Earth is gradually warming up. We need to find alternative energy sources. We should look to the sun for a solution. Well, here is one way. We could use the heat coming from the sun to energize the semiconductor. Do not forget photons and phonons. Some phonons might steal the heat that we need to generate the electricity, and some photons might escape and get lost. We have to limit them. That is very challenging. We can't even see them. Let's bring out our army of students and postdocs to tackle these problems. Meet the phonons, a strange and microscopic species that lives to steal heat. They take the heat and run away with it unless they run into an obstacle known as scattering. However, even though they die in a scattering event, they also give birth to the next generation at the same time. We cannot see them. But in order to control them, we need to monitor them. Simulation team, your task is to dig out everything possible about them. Spectroscopy team, you are responsible for probing them. Materials team, you are responsible for implementing the design. Photon team, you are responsible for trapping incoming solar photons and keeping photons from escaping. Device team, work with the materials and photon teams to generate power for us. According to my simulation, these photons have a wide range of traveling distance. We can use interfaces in materials to limit their travel by placing these interfaces nanometers apart. It'd be nice if we could confirm these ideas. We have a way to probe this by exciting phonons at very short distances so that some of the thermal transport is ballistic rather than diffusive. Today, we are gathered in the lab because I want to show you the great progress we have made. Daniel, please. We took the photon absorber from our photon management group and we combined it with uh, phonon transport limited nanostructured thermoelectric materials from our materials group uh, to build these prototypes of, as we call it, STAG, which stands for Solar Thermoelectric Generator. When the sun rises in the morning, the absorber site will heat up and this heat will drive the electrical energy carriers down to the cold side of our STAG. This will build up a voltage that can be used to power an electrical device. I knew all along that you young people could make it work. <laughs>